Now, if all who are able to stand will stand and join us in our spooky haunted hymn. Yes, stand and put your arms out in front of you, lip wrists, please. Dear father or mother or genderless almighty being, we thank you today on this spooky Sunday for sending your only son Jesus or your religious respective Messiah, who has either come or not has come yet to die for our sins, only to rise again like a dead, like a zombie, exactly, exactly like a zombie. Jesus was patient zero guys, infected with love. Elijah, this is offensive. All Hallows' Eve is a pagan holiday that has nothing to do with zombies, and we don't even believe in Jesus. Well, pagan ginger, Jesus believes in you. <laughs> I mean, no judgment, but if you could all put your arms out in front of you and groan with me in thanks on this glorious Halloween Sunday. <laughs> Amen. A woman. One last announcement before you all bum rush the snack table and Pagan Ginger runs to the complaint box. This week, we have decided to organize a festive haunted house attraction open to the public to raise money right here in the church. We will be open for business for one night only this Saturday, a.k.a. Halloween. How nice is it that Halloween fell on a Saturday night? I mean, that's totally convenient. The theme is the seven layers of hell, and it will encompass seven rooms here at Scone. Admission is $10 per person, so tell your friends. Volunteers will be needed, so if you'd like to sign up to be in charge of one of the rooms, please see Elijah after church. Pastor and Elijah made the church, non-dominational and made of birch. They hired Liv, a new secretary, after the old one stole money unfairly. Carol Ann volunteers, my surrounds the choir. Jonathan doesn't work, yet he's still hired. There's no judgment at the non-denominational. Some say things around here get inspirational. So Liv, I've just come to drop off the list of volunteers for this week. Um, Jesus, okay, uh, volunteers for what? I mean, weren't you listening to Pastor in church? Volunteers for- Elijah, you know I don't go to church. I don't get paid for Sundays. Oh, yes, yeah, you know, I forgot your godless ways. Just figure the drugs wiped your memory, I guess. Why does everyone think I'm on drugs? No, y whatever. What are the volunteers for? I mean, well, Marcy made that list. But anyway, for the haunted house on Saturday, the seven layers of hell, the spookiest good time for anyone who doesn't drink or party or eat sugar on, or watch Halloween films, you know, scary things that could be on the TV, whatever. So, for the seven rooms, we have Socialist Dave and Communist Derek running the first room. The youth group teens have room two. The Sconies are taking room three. The Scone Us are on four. Wiccans on five. Ben and Fran have teamed up for the room six. And Marcy called in as soon as I sent her transcripts of yesterday's service to claim room seven. Think you can figure out all that and where to put them? Okay, fine, but don't expect me to come to this haunted house thing. Just because I'm agreeing to help coordinate the volunteers doesn't mean I'm going to show up. I've got my annual Halloween date with Michael Myers and two bags of Reese's pumpkins. Uh, the ratio of chocolate to peanut butter is so much better on the pumpkins than the cups. I know! But Liv, you had to help with the haunted house. I mean, what if something goes wrong and you're not there? And then start paying me for Saturdays! Oh. I mean, besides, like, what could any of the volunteers be planning that could be so scary enough that it would go wrong? Come on. <laughs> Sending me on a wild goose chase across the country, posing as a record label representative like she knows anything about show business. I'm sure it was her. Well, I'll show her. Ho ho ho! Ma'am, will you please quiet down? We received multiple complaints. We'll be landing soon, and then you can scheme and cackle all you want. So, do you want peanuts or pretzels for your in flight snack? Well, miss, if you would have read Marcy Playground's autobiography, you would have known that I'm allergic to peanuts. Well, then here's your peanuts. Ma'am, I told you I'm allergic. Is there a doctor on board? I'm very hungry. All right, guys, everyone quiet down. I've got everything planned out here, so shut up and listen to find out where you'll be setting up. Dave and Derek, you've got the meeting room. Youth group is in the conference room. Scondies in the collaboration space. Scone Oz, you've got the rectory office. Witches, you're in the sanctuary. Benny and Fran are setting up down in the basement. And Marcy will be doing whatever she's doing up in the attic. I've already got Carol Ann setting up all the false walls and the lighting rigs, but she's currently got a pinched nerve in her back, so please just kind of 
Stay out of her way. All right, questions? Will there be an allowance for supplies? No, Annabelle. Are we allowed to punch the customers back if they touch us? No, Chet. Is there a particular guiding aesthetic we should be adhering to? No, Justine. Can I use real blood? Definitely not, Garfield. Has anyone seen Marcy, by the way? What was what that? Was that? Okay, Mazos, Mazos, you're a little flat over there. Can we pick it up at verse 7? I am back from the City of Angels, everyone. Oh, Jesus. I'm sure you're glad to have me back. Yes, so glad, Marcy. Please take your seat. I was just telling the Mezzos they were a little flat and... How was your meeting with FUM Records, Marcy? Why, thank you for asking, Annabelle. L.A. was lovely, of course. I met up with some old record label pals from the Sub Pop Records, the fathers of 90s alternative music, while I was in town. Sub Pop is in Seattle. Yes, the headquarters. The L.A. offices are much more exclusive, Matilda. Anyway, I had such a great time discussing my career opportunities with Sub Pop that I completely forgot about my meeting with F.U.M., the label I went to see. All's well that end well, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that's great, Marcy, but can we get everyone to get back to rehearsal? It'd be great. Okay, to the top of page three, measure four, and a, a one, two, three. Elijah, can you and the choir keep it down? We need to finish setting up our part of the haunted house. Alice, um, can the choir keep it down at choir practice? I don't think so. Well, isn't there anywhere else you guys can rehearse? The noise is scaring our sacrificial chickens. I think one already ran away. Chickens? Like, to eat? Well, wait a minute. No, never mind. No, uh, Alice, listen. There's nowhere else the choir can practice. This entire church is setting up for the seven layers of... Hell. And I really don't want to hear it from you, Alice. You're still in trouble for what you did. I wouldn't you be so sure that she can run away. I've been hearing rumors of something strange going on in this church lately. How have you heard rumors when you've been on the other side of the country all week? Word travels fast in show business, Annabelle. Anyway, I think it's a load of hooey, but... There have been whispers about something living in the church. Oh, do you mean Benny? We know he lives here. No, not Benny. A monster. You can't actually expect me to believe that. I am not that gullible, Marcy. Neither am I. Like I said, I think it's just a load of hooey. I just thought I'd warn you about the rumors floating around before you and that little twerp boy of yours get any ideas about ghost hunting detective work. Sure thing, Marcy. What, with Halloween night being a full moon and all, you know? Make some people go a bit loony, if you ask me. Load of hooey, a monster in a church. (laughs) The cops are here for you, Alice! That was probably just the wind, right? Ricky. I've called you into the office today because there's been rumors of something strange going on. What do you mean, Annabelle? Well, I've heard people saying there might be something living in the church. You mean Benny? No, not Benny, like something else. One of the witch's chickens has gone missing, and you've heard the weird howling, haven't you? I thought that was just Garfield in the bathroom. Ew. Anyway, it's probably just the wind, and I'm sure there's a simple explanation for the chicken turning up missing. That's why we need to investigate, to put rest to these ridiculous rumors. Okay, Annabelle, but I have to be home by five. Lev? 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 Olivia? Olivia! What? The phone! Ugh. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. Could you just get it? Uh, 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 No! I'm doing very important work over here, Olivia. (sighs) Shaping your eyebrows doesn't count as important work. The eyebrows are the window to the face. (sighs) Whatever. Hello, this is Scone. 
No, we're not a bakery. You're a bill collector. Why do you care? Why would I make your daughter a birthday cake when you're calling to harass me about the water? Well, I don't care. You'll have to impress your ex some other way. And don't call back. Sleeping at work. Liv, I'm shocked. And besides, Liv, I... Yeah. You say I don't do any work around here. At least I'm not sleeping. At least I'm awake. At least I have a consciousness at work. I'm sorry. I've just not been getting much sleep, I guess. You know, I really don't want to hear about whatever straight people have been getting up to, to be honest. Ew, not like that. I've just, I've already started my marathon. Oh my god, excuse me? Is that what people say when they have their periods? They're on a marathon? Ew, no. Every year leading up to Halloween, I spend the month of October marathoning old horror movies. I got kind of behind where I usually am this time of the month. Oh. I'm only halfway through the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, mm. and I, I haven't even gotten to Killer Clowns from Space. Of course. Classic. I've been watching American Werewolf on my phone every time I go to the bathroom to try and catch up. Okay, well, after hearing all that, um, gross. Other people's hobbies bore me. Of course. Anyway, I've been foregoing sleep for the sake of the marathon. Figured I could make it work with all the Starbucks we order with all of the fundraising money, but I guess not. Chet, Axel, what do you want? We actually came to see Jonathan. Um, my fan club meets on Tuesdays, boys, and you have to be 18. We wanted to know if you were good at special effects makeup. Um, it, well, whoa, 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 because I'm gay, I'm good at special effects makeup? I mean, uh, excuse me, Chet, but why would I be anyway? Look, all this spooky stuff gives me the hives. I mean, really, it just brings down my vibe, and you know my vibe is just so fun. All right, we just thought that since you're so good at drag makeup, you know, like making yourself look like a completely different person, that it must basically be the same thing, you know? I mean, like, but no judgment, because, like, yeah. scum. Yeah. You know what? I'm so sorry. I forgot that I do drag makeup. and I was yelling at you. It just, sometimes the straights just get to me. Okay, yes, boys, I am excellent at drag makeup, but, you know, thanks for noticing, but, like, why don't you ask Marcy, because she looks like a ghost all the time with her makeup. But we were all just so impressed with your work at the drag show. Oh, I suppose, what's the difference between making someone look like a beautifully campy lady and making someone look like a zombie? All right, I'll do it. Let me get my hair and makeup case. Uh, cases, but... You carry around your drag makeup case at all times? You never know when you're going to need it, Liv. The moment could arise for some glitter, eyeshadow, and a weave. I'll get to it. Wait here, boys. You really played him, huh, Chet? Flattery will get you far, I guess. Liv, I am offended. We really appreciate Jonathan's artistry. You just didn't want to spend the money to buy your own costumes, right? Obviously. What's the theme for your room going to be anyway? You'll have to wait and see. Speaking of, do you have any idea what Marcy is doing upstairs in the attic? There's a lot of noise coming from up there. Did you give her money to buy a noise machine? Because that's uncool, Liv. Like, we should have gotten a budget, too. We also have a room. No, I didn't give Marcy any money. I have no idea what she's planning. I actually haven't seen her at all today. I don't think she started setting up yet. Okay, I'm back and ready to beautify this church. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, so many kids. Okay, I've got all the colors of wigs and weaves. i got all the makeup necessities. Oh, you know what, you boys? Let's just glue down your eyebrows because they're kind of tragic. I mean, I know you're in high school, but like, you need to start plucking when you're eight years old, okay? And never forget, boys, eat to your dying breath, eyebrows are the windows of the face. Jonathan, you're doing haunted house makeup, remember? Oh, right. Well, just as well, these eyebrows were going to scare people off with their beauty. Um, thanks. Uh, Liv, are you sure there's no one in the attic because maybe someone else got confused and started sitting up there? What's this? I was just telling Liv that we've all been hearing this weird howling sound, like, literally all day. Hmm, did you check the bathroom for Garfield? I think he got Indian food yesterday. Uh, gross. Yeah, the uh, Sconies are working on their room. It wasn't him. Probably those pipes are so leaky and Carol Ann can't fix it to save a life. Well, wait, what kind of howling? Um, I don't know, like a dog or something? Like, I'm not going to impersonate it for you. I mean, does Blind Harriet still go here? No, ever since her service dog attacked Marcy because Marcy's perfume smelled like steak, Blind Harriet started going to Deerfield Community Church. And I don't blame her. I'd go for that uh, that hunk of steak, Pastor Wyatt. Oh, oh my God. Liv, right? 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. Hottest guy we woo, know. Woo. 
Ah! Gives me tangles. Wait, Chet, are you sure it was like a dog and not like a wolf? I mean, is there a difference? Yes. Oh my God, girl, come off of it. What? I- I'm just asking. You know, there's there's a full moon coming up. Liv's been watching way too many horror movies. She's completely lost it. I mean, she's already lost it, but like, she's losing it even more. So just don't mind her. Hi, Justin and Justine. What do you want? Um, we're supposed to be setting up our part of the haunted house in here, right, babe? Yeah, we're gonna need to clear out the furniture. We're going for a minimalist aesthetic. Of course you are. Why did I assign the Skonaz my office again? Would you rather us be in here setting up all week? Excellent point, Chet. All right, guys, help me lift this desk. Jonathan, we'll set up our desks in the hallway. All right, Ricky, we're just going to conduct some field interviews. See if anyone has seen or heard anything strange. Do you really think there's a monster loose in the church, Annabelle? Of course not. There's got to be a logical explanation. That's why we're detectives, Ricky, so we can find out what's really going on. Okay, Annabelle. I say, we start with the witches and the missing chickens. Let's go. So you say you're missing a chicken. Yes! Your choir practice scared Gertrude so much she escaped from the coop and ran away. And what were you going to use these chickens for again? A live sacrifice for the haunted house, obviously. You named a chicken you're going to kill? We weren't really going to kill them. It's special effects, almost like magic. Yeah, that's what she thinks. Anyway, Gertrude got out and all that was left behind was a bunch of feathers. Interesting. Ricky, don't eat that. It's chicken feed. Thank you for your time, Alice. Can I just have one more handful, Ricky? Emma? Oh, sorry, Amber. So, the Scone Artist Society, also known as Scone Us, have you heard or seen anything strange this week in the church? If you count clumps of hair all over the floor, strange. Yeah, we found it after we moved out all the furniture. It was hard to sweep up. Really put a damper on our minimalism for a minute there. Hair? Can I see some? We've already used most of it as a thickening agent in our paint, but there's some left over there. Hmm, dark brown. Well, it's certainly not Liv or Jonathan's for that matter. What do you think, Ricky? It looks like my dog Charlie's fur. Interesting. I'm confiscating this evidence. Ricky, stop eating the paint! It was just a little taste, Annabelle. Hello, teens. We're conducting interviews to find out if anything unusual has been going on in the church this week. You mean like someone having the money for a sound system to make all those howling noises we've been hearing? Yeah, that's pretty fishy considering Liv gave us no budget, supposedly. Yeah, it's like absolutely unfair. Unjust. We should protest the blatant favoritism being perpetrated by the establishment. That's right, the howling. Y'all heard it too? Of course we did. It's so loud. You'd have to be deaf not to hear it. Ugh, chat. Ugh, we talked about this. The preferred term is hearing impaired, you oaf. What howling? You haven't heard any howling, have you, Garfield? I ain't heard nothing funny and neither have any of the scondies. Are you sure? Garfield is hearing impaired. I am not, you rat bastard. You ask me, everyone here is smoking the wacky tobacco. Talking about ghouls and goblins and monsters hollering in the church. I didn't fight in four walls to come home to hear some teenagers whine about hearing things. I hear the screams of all the men I've killed every night, and you don't hear me whining. James, uh, that's called your conscience kicking in. Punishing you for being complicit in the patriarchal, exploitive, western colonialism war machine! You listen here, you Hillary supporter! I'm getting scared, Annabelle. I kinda am too, Ricky. I think we should leave. So what do you think the howling is? I don't know, Ricky. The Junior Detective League might be in over our heads this time. Communist Eric, Socialist Dave, have you guys heard or seen anything strange this week? We're conducting interviews. Interviews? Are you trying to keep tabs on me? 
Why is the government always trying to keep tabs on me? Those cappy rat bastards! We are not with the government. We're ten. We're the Junior Detective League. People have been complaining about things going missing, weird noises, things being where they're not supposed to be. We're investigating! Sure you are, Burgwazi scum! Things are going missing. I'd suggest investigating the invisible hand you capitalists love so much. Invisible hand? Annabelle, there's a disembodied hand terrorizing the judge. Mm, indeed, wealth distribution in the capitalist marketplace is frightening. Mm, the invisible hand is a myth perpetrated by the rich to protect the unfair systems of unequal pay. And of course, when you add into that all of this. So you haven't heard anything unusual then? No. Right. Thanks mm. for your time. Goodbye. Mm, no problem. All right, Ricky, we've already asked six of the seven haunted house groups for information. I can't believe Fran slammed the door in our faces. That's so disrespectful. You'd think someone so old might at least want company. Speaking of old people, our last interview is with Marcy in the attic. Marcy, we've got to ask you some questions. Yeah, Marcy, wait us in. What do you want? We came to ask if you've seen or heard anything strange this week. Like an invisible disembodied hen? Or howling? Uh, investigating the church monster, are you? Just as I suspected, you two can't keep your nose out of anything. Can you please just let us into the attic so we can talk? No, my portion of the haunted house is to remain a surprise until Halloween night. And like I said earlier, the church monster is a myth. Sometimes strange things happened around a full moon, you know. But I'm sure it's nothing to worry your pretty little head about. Now be gone! Well, what do you think, Gambo? Hmm. Well, we've run out of informants. We've got the missing chicken, the howling, the clumps of fur, the full moon. Ricky! It's so obvious now! It's an invisible hand! No, it's a werewolf! We've got to tell someone! Hurry! Liv, Jonathan, we've made a discovery! Wait, why, why are you sitting on the floor? Because the Skonaz took over the rectory. Listen, can you guys stop screaming? I, I haven't been sleeping well. What do you want? The Junior Detective League has cracked the case wide open. There's a werewolf! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, this is a bigger joke than the last Madonna single! <laughs> there is! Loose in the church! I wouldn't believe it myself, but all the evidence points right to it! Wait, you have evidence? Liv, you cannot seriously Let think- Let them speak! Okay. Well, there's a missing chicken and the clumps of fur everywhere, and all that howling. And did you know that this Saturday is a full moon? That's what I was just telling Jonathan. Oh, I know, I heard. It all makes sense. The chicken, what do wolves eat if not chicken? It's it's feeding to gain strength. And and fur, you said? Of course, it's it's already started transforming, I bet. I mean, I'm no lycanthropy expert, but, but the howling, of course. A werewolf, it's gotta be. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back like Cher did from music to pursue acting. Okay, Olivia A, you're clearly losing it. You're sleep deprived. You've been watching these horror movies all week. I mean, you can't believe in what they're saying. And and Ricky, stop eating my goddamn Skittles! Why should I not believe it? Everyone else in this place believes in some old dude floating around in the clouds, averting his eyes while they masturbate. Why is a werewolf any more unrealistic? Guys, it's going to strike on Saturday, the full moon, when there will be tons of people here. We have to warn everyone. Oh my god, girl, you better not leave me with these goddamn phones by myself. I cannot handle it. Come on, Annabelle. We've got to go tell the pastor. Olivia, how do I answer the phone? Fine. What? Pastor, we need to talk to you. There's going to be an attack on the church on Saturday. Oh, Liv. And Annabelle, and Ricky, what can I do for you? Pastor, you know I don't believe in fantasy things, but there's no other explanation. There's a- Oh, Liv, you look terrible. Your eyes are all red. Are you high? I am not high. I'm a little sleep deprived. That's not the point. Pastor, there's a werewolf in the church. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh, there is, is there? Is that what the Junior Detective League is investigating? Yes, we've got all the evidence. It's the only explanation. Well, good job to you, Annabelle and Ricky, for cracking the case wide open. And you, Liv, I'm so proud of you for entertaining the kids with so much conviction. Look at you finally getting involved in church functions. Maybe you could be the new supervisor of the Junior Detective League so they can become an official club. Pastor, I'm not playing along. There really is a werewolf on the loose. It's going to hunt the haunted house customers on Saturday. We've got to shut it down. <laughs> of course you're not playing along, Liv. I'm sorry. Wink. Now, kids, I can't cancel the haunted house. Lord Buddha Zeus knows that we need the money. But why don't the three of you come to the haunted house on Saturday night and try to track down the monster? That'll be fun, right? Werewolf hunting on Halloween, you know. But pastor! Liv will supervise you, of course, right, Liv? <clears throat> fine. Kids, we're gonna catch this wolf. Cool! So what's the plan then, Annabelle? Well, we've got to catch it in action and no one is going to believe us. Is this what faith is like? Um, no. Hmm. How are we going to catch you, Ambo? We'll just have to go through the whole haunted house and catch whoever it is after they've fully transformed. Wait, you don't... you don't think it's someone from the church, do you? Well, why couldn't it be? Why would a random werewolf want to hang out here? Why would he want to attack us? Good point. But who do you think it could be? Well... I want to say Marcy because she is pure, unadulterated evil. But it can't be her because I was with her when I heard the first howl. Damn. Maybe Garfield? He is particularly hairy, and he was very adamant about not hearing anything. Well, I mean, it's the best we have to go on. Pastor, I'm really impressed by the turnout. This is going to be amazing. I know. When I got here, the line was already around the block. For once, maybe something we do won't end in a disaster. I'll admit, I was skeptical. Being that, I mean, Halloween is the devil holiday and all, but, well, it looks good. Oh, it's all in good fun, Elijah. And did you see Liv? She's playing along with Annabelle and Ricky on some kind of monster hunt for the Detective League. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our Liv, who hates children and this church and anything that can't be proved by science and anything off the clock? I know. She seems to be getting really into it. I'm so glad she's finally getting involved with something. Well, that's fantastic. That's going to be so good for her. I know. How wholesome. We're going to get this, motherfucker. I work here so we can cut to the front of the line. We've got to get in and kill the beast before it kills anyone else. You got your weapons? My dad doesn't let me play with weapons. Yeah, Liv, we're only ten. God damn it, Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I couldn't find Wolfsbane, but I have Mace. You can take that, Ricky. And Annabelle, you can have this fire extinguisher from the rectory. And I've got a bat from the softball game. Are you sure about this? I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm sure. Let's f*** this wolf up. All right, kids, the meeting room is first. That's Communist Derek and Socialist Dave's. Keep your eyes peeled for anything strange. Welcome to Capitalist Hell! Oh, God. Mm, yes, boo! What is more frightening than pay inequality and private health care and banning women's rights and letting the gays suffer? Ooh, boo! Boo! Our haunted house is supposed to be dark. Why is this so bright in here? It's fluorescent lighting! How does it feel on your eyes for 40 hours straight a week until you die slaving away for the bourgeoisie? Mmm, boo, yes! Won't you step over to the working class labor stimulator? Try working your hand at manning this industrial welding machine. Mmm, boo! Or step over to the petite bourgeoisie simulator and type until you get carpal tunnel. Mm, yeah, say goodbye to spending quality time with your family. Wait, what family? It's just you. You're all alone, slaving to the will of a system that doesn't care about your love life, doesn't care about your children. Mm, boo. Say goodbye to the fruits of your labor as they fly straight into the pockets of the owners of the means of production. <laughs> boo. Adequate parental leave, affordable health care, Fair wages, free higher education, a meaningful life, not in capitalist hell. <laughs> and that's why my daddy votes Republican. While awfully loud, I don't think either of them are the werewolf. I think you're right. Let's keep moving. 
Okay, next is the youth group in the conference room. I didn't get any weird vibes from them, but you never know. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Urgh. Ah! I'm Zombie Jesus. Come to eat your brains. Oh, f Did you just maze me? I live. Is he the monster? God damn it, Chet. No, he's not. Jonathan did special effects makeup. Oh, sh Burn. Ricky, did you mace him? I thought it was the monster. It's a haunted house, you dumb fuck up. Everyone is dressed up as monsters. Jesus. Ricky! Axel, could you drive me to the hospital, bro? I think my eyes are bleeding. Let's, come on, let's get out of here, guys. Ooh. Man down, man down. Liv, what is going on in here? Why does it look like a jungle? That doesn't make sense for Halloween. Ow, what was that? Oh, crap. Um, This is the collaboration space. The Sconies, they're doing a Vietnam War reactment. Get down, paintballs are flying. Get going, you dirty vehicle. God bless America. Ow, I've been hit. Good, get that little bitch. Moza, when I was your rage, I was fighting in this war, kid. Ricky, no. I'll cover. Get to the door, kids. Go, go, go! Ah, Vietnam was a senseless war. Eat and die! Wait a minute. Is that that Hillary Swanson? Oh, damn! Ow! That was a baseball bat. Ah, you hussy! Man down! Call the medic! Oh, my God, man down! Where you hurt the man? Medic! Garfield, if you die here, I will let the loved ones of your life know that you are a great command! Don't touch Gladys, though! I would never! She's ugly! How dare you! I mean, she is respectable! Ricky, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little blue. What? From the paintball! That was a close one, guys. I think it's safe to say that none of them were the werewolf. I mean, I don't think werewolves can hold guns. And I kind of beat the <laughs> out of Garfield. It, it, it's not him. Liv, I'm getting scared. I think I want to stop. It's um, Annabelle. It's okay. Next is the Scone Artist Society in the rectory. They'll be tame. It's it's fine. Let's go. Welcome, one and all, to a world without art. Take in the white walls, the sterile lighting, the. Told you. What's next, Liv? I think it's oh, shit. the witches' club in the sanctuary. Deus mia, Deus mia. Beware all ye who enter here! You, who make a mockery of All Hallows Eve, a sacred holiday of the Wicca! All of you will be cursed forever! Crucio! Damn it, Janice, it's not Harry Potter curses! You three, who enter here, will suffer for all eternity! Why are they allowed to draw on the floor, but I'm not? That's a pentagram, Ricky. That's devil worship. A whatagram? Oh no, what are they going to do with that chicken? And now, we shall perform the rites of sacrifice to our Lord Satan. Ah! Why can't you sacrifice a brick of tofu, you whack jobs? Annabelle, get him! Take this, you devil worshippers! Ah, Jesus, what was... Is fire extinguisher stuff poisonous? Wait, let me wash it off, and you, you three will rue this day! <laughs> Was that you, Olivia? No, wasn't it you? Satan's not real, Olivia! Silence, you blasphemous fiend! We gotta go! Come on, kids, to the basement! Fran? Benny? Are you there? Um, guys, the, the haunted house is open. Are, are you ready? What is this you speak of? Um, hi, Fran. Uh, you signed up to use your room for the haunted house. I did no such thing. Um, yes, you did. Uh, can you let us in? For dinner? Yes. I'm hungry, Ambel. You come just in time. The chicken paprika is very fresh. Oh. My. God. This is so much worse than I remember. What is it? What's in there? I want my daddy. That is 
truly horrifying. This is my house. What's so scary? You step inside, join me, we have dinner. Ah! Hey kiddos, the haunted house is down here. It's nice and spooky. <laughs> ah! Wow, we are never talking about that again. That was terrible. Uh, I feel sick. <sighs> well, the last room is Marcy's in the attic. I have no idea what she's been up to all week, but I haven't really seen her bringing anything up, so I bet it's pretty lame. Also, because she's useless at pretty much everything. Uh-huh. Let's just get this over with. I don't know where the wolf could be. I mean, maybe it escaped? Amber, why is it so dark? I don't know, Ricky. Marcy? Are you here? Are, are you all set up? Marcy? Uh, <laughs> Marcy's the wolf! Me, sir, Ricky! Uh, I pee! <laughs> uh, are you scared, Annabelle? Are you going to eat me? Yes, it is me, Marcy of Marcy's Playground. Oh, oh! Is that a baseball bat? Olivia sees fire! No, you can't eat children! I'm not eating anyone! I wanted to scare Annabelle! <laughs> what? As payback for sending me to a fake label meeting in Los Angeles! Oh, <laughs> that was fake! How did you know it was me? Well, who else would it be? Well, Marcy, everyone hates you. He's right, it could have been anyone. Shut up, I knew it was- Ooh! Marcy, stop! Marcy, the joke's up, it's not funny anymore, they're children! That wasn't me. What? You mean none of the howling has been you? No. The missing chicken? Why would I take a dirty poultry bird? The fur in the rectory? What fur? Oh! Ah! Ah! The wolf is real, kids! Run! We've got everyone evacuated, ma'am. No one or nothing alive is still inside, but you gotta shut this thing down. None of this is legal. I mean, you know you need permits for fundraisers and these kind of events, don't you? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. Must have just slipped my mind. Thank you for all of your help, officer. We really appreciate it. Y'all have a safe night now. So, you really thought there was a werewolf, Liv? Yes. And Liv, you and these two ten-year-old kids went to hunt the werewolf? Yes. Yeah. And you, together, pepper sprayed a miner sprayed a girl with toxic fire extinguishing foam, and beat an elderly man with a bat. Well, and Marcy too, but I mean... We can hold it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna hold it. Well, in my defense, Garfield was wearing a war helmet. He's probably fine. Chet is in the hospital, and Janice is still defoaming their sacrificial chicken. And more importantly, we've lost all the money we could have made tonight because we had to refund the tickets because you and Marcy trashed the place on your way out. Okay, Elijah, listen up. It's not Liv's fault. She was out of her mind watching all those horror movies that she's been watching during work hours. Liv, is this true? Well, yes. But Marcy swears the howling this week wasn't her. There's, There's got to be something still inside. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm so sorry. I had to run and get... Ow! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, where is everybody? Wait, has the haunted house started yet or no? Or what's what's going on? What was that noise you just made? Oh dearie. Oh! I slipped my disc a few days ago and oh, oh! You will understand when you're older, Annabelle. Wait. Carolyn have you been up in the ceiling hanging those black light rigs for the haunted house this whole week? Well, I told Pastor that maybe I shouldn't be doing that with my slipped desks and my nerves. And oh! Another case closed for the Junior Detective League. 
Non-denominational was co-created by Matthew Rebar, Karen Adams, Blaze Pratt, and Kelsey Shago. Music and sound effects collected from freesound.org, audionautics.com, and originals by Matthew Rebar. Thank you to our regular cast of voices this season, including Matthew Rebar, Karen Adams, Blaze Pratt, Kelsey Shago, Kyle Pratt, Annalise Rebar, Karen Jones, Amanda Casey, Julia and Amy Adams, Hogan Pash, Joanna Molson, and Glenn Anderson. Check out the website for more information 